What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. And so here we are today. It's Saturday morning. Yes, another weekend is here. And man, what a crazy week it's been when it comes to crypto. You know, I had to get off the news the last couple of days. Been super busy with all kinds of activities going on, whether it's in crypto. Whether it's pumping iron, whether it's, well, real life stuff going on. But now it's time to uh, catch up on the news. So I say, uh, let's just begin. All I got to say is what a difference the last couple of days have made. I mean, we were looking at market cap, what, 9.3, uh, not 9.3, 933, uh, was it billion, I believe? And now it's back over a trillion once again. Crazy how things can change just like that. And look at Terra. Terra's been on a weird tear. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I just think that all these uh, quote unquote whales and institutions, individuals, you know, are causing these things ha to happen only to set you guys up to be dumped on and uh that's what i think is going to be happening in the not too distant future of you guys are going to get dumped on bad you guys are believing that oh shit things are pumping look at that oh man we're up on a you know we're up on a, we're going back being bullish once again i mean look at it holy shit everything's going back up right to make you fooled into thinking, oh man, things are good again, but yet you're just gonna get dumped on all over again. And so all I gotta say is, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Remember, Mount Gox is looming. All right, it's just around the corner, real soon, and it could come at any time. And then any other th situations may come about that's gonna. But Mount Gox is the big one, all right? The biggest elephant in the room in 2022, all right? So, just saying. Uh, let's get to the news now, all right? Catching up on all kinds of... I got to catch up on all kinds of news here. So, look at this here. Uh, first, I'll just hit this. India hackers. This is in India. Hackers delete educational data, demand one million in crypto. Wow, so hacking group in India has stolen and deleted... Data from educational institutions. Um, guess I'll just do a quick little read through here. Demanding one million crypto for its return. Wow, they hacked into the system, huh? Well, this is out in India. I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> on the one hand, it can be good with security. On the other, uh. It, it, it's just, I don't know, all I gotta say is, uh, are they gonna give in and pay for this, or what is gonna happen? That is a question, but, uh, one million ransom. Not for people, but for data <laughs> to restore. Is that crazy when you think about that? Information. Man, all I gotta say is, uh, you know, this is the age of when it comes to uh, technology and crypto. And, um, yeah, it's just a whole new world. Because, you know, when you think about it, this is still the early days of crypto. So, let's see here. Uh, let's keep moving. Crypto Exchange, Wu Network Secures AML Approval in Taiwan. Okay, uh, SEC's Gensler, Gensler supports commodities regulator having Bitcoin oversight. Uh, unrealized losses held in within Bitcoin network currently equivalent to 16% of the current market cap. Uh, whatever. Coinbase backs a lawsuit aimed at Treasury's tornado cash sanctions. Probably because of, um, you know, wh whatever the Treasury did in terms of you know season tornado cash it probably took everything that's you know fr it's freezing everything that's in it 
And probably Coinbase, you know, has some money inside Tornado Cash. And they say, hey, we want, or not so, money in crypto, I guess. Uh, they, they want their stuff back. I don't know, that's a tough call there. Uh, U.S. government recovers $30 million from a crypto game. Axie Infinity hack. Wow, okay. Uh, Binance issues soulbound tokens on BNB chain for KYC users. Um, okay, SEC to form a new office for crypto disclosures. FTX Ventures is to take 30% stake in Skybridge Capital. All right. Uh, MicroStrategy files for stock offering up to 500 million in part to buy additional Bitcoin. Wow, weren't we talking about MicroStrategy trying to dump Bitcoin right now at these lows? And now they're talking about trying to come up with a stock offering to buy Bitcoin. They don't know what they're doing. I think they're kind of in that kind of limbo where they are panicking because of the market, but yet. They know that the market is looking mm, decent right now to buy. I still think we're not at the lows yet to buy more. I think there's a lot more room. Just let it go down even more to uh, be able to just buy in on after that. 10K Bitcoin, $500 ETH. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, crypto crackdown will continue. SEC chair warns. So... The crypto industry says it should be regulated by another agency. Um, so, well, we all know that's been happening for some time when it comes to the to, uh, this sort of thing that's been happening, right? That more and more regulation will eventually come to crypto, right? And so, yeah, the, the, the West is wild when it comes to crypto. Um, but not as wild as it was in the past. It still kind of is today, but all that will eventually come to an end. So, you know, just saying, I, I believe in that. So let's see here. According to the legendary Oracle himself, always, uh, shares good insight, good information, experience, all that stuff. All right. Um, and to be able to be in the same room with the Oracle and to kind of see, listen, all that stuff, you know, it's pretty cool. And so something that you guys should definitely take a look at if you haven't already is just check out the legendary Oracle. Um, you know, learn my trading method style from Oracle himself and, um, I have to admit, I still got to do more practice and uh, just trying to hone in on the art of that. So, um, yeah, so that's a legendary Oracle here. Let's see here. He said Bitcoin Cash to 133, called it first. Let's see here. What is that right now? Bitcoin Cash. Uh, let's see. Where is BCH? Did I pass it? All right, let me look it up here. Bitcoin Cash. See where am I missing out of here? B C H here. We're gonna see where it's at here. One thirty two. So it was at one twenty nine and earlier yesterday it hit one thirty seven and then it went right back down to one thirty one, one thirty two, one thirty three. And he called it at 4 p.m. All right, yeah. Uh, that was 4 p.m. there, so yeah. Right, right in line. That's where it's at, so just saying. Moving on. All right, let's see here. When in doubt, just be a total retard or whatever that is. Uh, sometimes I like to read some of the in a degen wrecked crypto journey. Sometimes they share some interesting stuff here. Uh, let's see here. Other stuff going on here. Binance US has added support for Ethereum staking. 
One year ago today, El Salvador adopted Bitcoin as legal tender, and they're in some trouble right now. They bought all this Bitcoin at these all-time highs, and uh, well, it's not all-time highs. It's actually a little bit lower than all-time highs, but yet it's still higher prices than they are today. I think they're uh, well, less than half of what they were at today, if, if anything. So they're in some trouble right now because they're not seeing that same value that they had a year ago. So, you know, all they got to do is, well, all they have to do is just kind of just hang in there. That's, that's all they can do to hold. And technically, they sh for, in regards to government there, they should DCA just to kind of bottom, you know, bottom out the total cost of everything. But what do I know? I'm not. A, I'm not running the government. LA, Elon Musk requested a late twi Twitter trial ha has been denied by a Delaware judge. Hmm. Uh, Apple unveils iPhone 14. Yes, we know that. From the other day, uh, they got the Pro and Max. Pro Max. Um, and what's cool I learned is that they're not going to raise the price either. Um, even though they've vastly um i wouldn't say improved but i guess you could say improved uh you know a lot of the stuff within the phone itself you know like the camera and all that so that's something there that's pretty cool to listen to uh if you invested in bitcoin for a thousand dollars 10 years ago today it's worth 1.9 million pretty cool Polygon plans to increase workforce by 200 people this year. Okay. Uh, European Central Bank hikes interest rates by 75 basis points, the largest rate hike ever recorded. Um, SEC Chair Gensler says he supports giving CFTC greater power to oversee and regulate Bitcoin and crypto. Uh, Fed Chair Powell says we would not have seen such high inflation without COVID. <laughs> uh, I, I guess so. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's, I guess you could say that is kind of true. Um, Fed Chair Jerome Powell says, unbacked cryptocurrencies have not offered much in terms of public interest for payments. Yeah, so going back to this, uh, yeah, this whole high inflation without COVID, yeah, there's a lot of things that altered. <laughs> COVID has changed lives. Uh, a lot for bad, a lot for good. I mean, it, it's definitely caused a, a big time ripple effect and just in life. <laughs> All right. So, yes, uh, it's, a, it's uh, done things to crypto. It's done things to the economy it's done things to lives obviously you know lost lives um it's done a lot of things and it, it's altering life itself so yes i believe that coinbase is funding a lawsuit filed against for blacklisting tornado cash okay uh 40, blocks remain until ethereum emerges proof of stake that was uh two days ago by the way so u.s mortgage rates Ray, uh, rise to 5.9%, the highest since 2008. That was the last time when the housing market crashed was 2008. By the way, I was looking at my mortgage rate, and it's at 3.6% right now, my mortgage rate. Um, never refinanced, because all you're doing is resetting your dates for another 30 years once again. Nah, I'll just stick to where I'm at. 3.6 is fine with me. Uh, says that to become, okay, oh, Queen Elizabeth died, uh, you know, the other day too, so, Prince Charles named King of England now, okay, I bet, oh no, <laughs> I won't say nothing about King Charles, uh, Bitcoin hit all-time high, 69,000, November 10th of last year, see, uh, just as I was mentioning about El Salvador, I mean, they were running high on Bitcoin, and it was closer to this value than the current value at around 20000 right now. So, just saying. Uh, other than that, well, got to catch up on some more news. 
on another day. So comment down below. Happy Saturday. I'll see you in the next one.